Hi everyone. Hi. We're back. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, see. Hi everyone. Hi we're guys. Back. Yeah. It's really easy now. Here by now. Yay. Um, today we're going to talk about something that might be triggering. So we're gonna tell you right away that if you get triggered easily, don't watch this because we're gonna talk about food, diets, all that stuff that yeah. no one wants to talk about. Um, because today we're gonna talk about. Uh, diets during recovery, um, and we're not talking about like Weight Watchers and stuff like that. We're talking about like certain like diets. So we're basically gonna talk about the 80-10-10 diet, um, eat clean, uh, the paleo diet, 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 diet. diet. <laughs> yeah, diet. We have the vegan, the raw, um, um, everything around that. Um, those things. And we don't want like it's a big no no. Like no, we don't want anybody who like practices those yeah. diet we don't want don't, you don't take to, it personally you know yeah. like it's not against you we're not <laughs> against anything that you're doing you know it's just our opinions yeah so yeah <laughs> everyone is allowed their own opinions and these are our opinions if they don't aren't the same as yours well then sorry sorry, <laughs> sorry not sorry <laughs> we're gonna talk about the 80 10 10 i guess first. yeah yeah we'll talk so the first one around. um the reason why we wanted to make these videos, it, uh, this video particularly, is because <laughs> we know a lot of people in recovery that they follow certain diets. Um, yeah. I know a lot of people that they're like, oh, I'm recovering, but I'm only going to be healthy and stuff like that. Yeah. And um, I don't think that it's. You looked at it like. A car just passed by and me and Val are like mesmer mesmerized by it, sorry. You know a lot of people that are like recovering and they're like, I'm only going to eat healthy food and stuff and basically I think that recovery is not about eating healthy or whatever, it's about eating normally and eating a balanced diet, um, eating... <laughs> sorry, <laughs> so it's all <laughs> So like, um, just eating like balanced diet basically, eating unhealthy sometimes and eating healthy other times. Because uh, it's not because you have like an eating disorder and you're recovering from uh, that eating disorder. It's not like <laughs> you're, you're allowed to have junk food and all. It, you're not like, I don't know how to explain it. Like, yeah, you're, you're not not allowed to have anything, you know? Yeah. Nothing's I, off limits. Actually, I have a, like, I know someone who has an eating disorder and um, who doesn't want to eat healthy foods because she says it, t it tastes bad. And um, she says like she only wants to like, put her calories on junk food and stuff <laughs> like that because junk food tastes good and like we, whatever food we're gonna name here uh just like don't don't be triggered about it or something if you get triggered don't watch this video yeah, yeah. um that's that's, that's that it, yeah. that's our little disclaimer <laughs> that's that well, i'm gonna talk about the 80 10 10 diet um we did our research before this video yes. because we don't actually think about diets all the time like we're really against diets during recovery like we're just like you have to eat everything and like no fear foods are allowed and like because I think that if you go on a diet like that you're like creating yourself fear foods you're like yeah. that's off limits you know so I don't know we're like really against that so we did some research about it so that yeah. we know what we're talking about but mm -hmm. we're not like pros about it so if we say something like that that's maybe not right not like, right you can tell us we're like, not, we won't we won't be mad we won't take it personally <laughs> like we don't know much about um stuff. so for the 80 10 10 diet um actually we do know people on that diet yeah we do. um i know a couple yeah and the 80 10 10 diet is actually a diet where you ate 80 percent of fruit and veggies like you get your carbs from there and 10 percent comes from protein and the other 10 percent comes from healthy fats um by eating the 80 by doing the 80 10 10 diet mm -hmm. um you basically um, as Val said, take off some foods and yeah, like, you basically create fear yourself foods. Fe fear foods that you say they're th like they're not healthy. Yeah, like you don't say like I'm scared of eating that, but it's just not in your diet. So when it comes the time like to have cake, you just like go no or like yeah, a, yeah. It, it's like other terms to say the it's same like thing. Off limits. Yeah, and um. We wanted to say, like, the 80-10-10 diet, we did our research, like I said, and we wanted to say that most, most of the people that are on that diet don't lose weight. Um, that's really important to say because a lot and a lot of people recover from eating disorders say, oh, I'll go on the 80-10-10 diet, I'll I won't, yeah, vegetables. I won't gain weight, uh, I'll, I'll lose weight. Yeah, people... I actually have a little story to tell, Oh, if I can tell one. Yeah. Well, when I was, like, really sick, all I ate was, like, lettuce and, like, 
stuff like that. Um, like nothing else. And then when I started recovering, all I ate was vegetables and fruits. And for the longest time, I think until like last year during the summer, that's all I ate like every day, vegetables and fruits. And despite that, between November, if you go look at my videos when I first started them, and to the summer, I did gain a lot of weight. So that is just to say that vegetables and fruits will make you gain weight. That like, is a good story to say. Don't think that they're not going to make you gain weight because that's all I ate and that's what I gained. I gained weight. Yeah. So, just to say. <laughs> and by like following the 80 10 10 diet, uh, actually we want to say something like even the name of the diet, like 80 10 10 diet, diet. Uh, it's it, it, it doesn't it, go with an eating disorder. No, recovery. like diets and eating disorders, no, don't go together. Like, it's, <laughs> it's, it's a fact, it's we have research made, and like you know, like the word diet isn't good for you, like yes. it's proven, like so many diets make you gain weight, in fact. Um, so, uh, the 80-10-10, we set, we looked it up and mm. we found that you won't lose weight and you'll be a lot more hungry by following that diet. Because if you look at, um, now I'll say like the Canadian food, food whatever, but thing. maybe it's the States or whatever, where you are, mm -hmm. like, um, you have like this, this guide of food you should eat every day to be healthy. And, um, so... <clears throat> it will make you hungry because you obviously won't have everything you need by eating 80% of mm -hmm. fruit and 10% of protein and 10% of healthy uh, fats. I think it's like, it's obvious you'll be always hungry because as Val Valerie yeah. said later on, if you eat like 100 uh, calories of lettuce and 100 calories of nuts, it's not the same thing. Uh, not thing. the same thing. <laughs> it's not the same thing. It won't um, fill you up the same way. Yeah, and you'll be hungry a lot faster by eating only yeah, like, like fruits and veggies. I remember that when I would eat only fruits and veggies, I was still hungry and like yeah. I still gained weight. So you know, you're just like screwing yourself over if you're doing that. Like I am living proof that you just should not do that. And plus, I have a video about digestion problems, and that is just like oh, yeah. that's just like basically a consequence of that. So just don't do it. <laughs> By looking things up, we found that it wasn't enough for your body, like to yeah, the nutrients. It's, yeah, and stuff. it's not enough, and uh, people say like they feel better and they they look better. Their glow is like wow, <laughs> like yeah. And but it's not freaking normal to eat like yeah. two pineapples for breakfast. Sorry, yeah. I, I'm just really against it. And I like most of the time during my hard times with my Ed, I would eat like. Uh, only fruits and veggies like for dinner mm -hmm. or like for lunch and I would be hungry like one hour after and that would make me so mad because I was yeah. like I forced myself to have like two apples and that was hard for me and now I'm still hungry yeah. and like that really just as she said screws you up yeah. it makes you mad it doesn't help in any way mm -hmm. so that's our opinion about the 80 10 10 diet so mm -hmm. we think that people were like oh I'll recover from anorexia or whatever um, bulimia, whatever your eating mm -hmm. disorder is, um, a diet, especially the 80-10-10, isn't good for you. With the 80-10-10, there's also clean eating and raw. They're like, a lot of the people that go on those diets, they like sort of like go through the group. Um, raw is basically like nothing cooked, obviously, because it's raw. And um, <laughs> it's a lot of nuts, a lot of seeds, a lot of stuff like that. Um, I personally don't know anything about it because I'm allergic to nuts, <laughs> so I would never be able to go on that diet. But like, um, that's sort of like the 80-10-10, I mean, any kind of diet when you're recovering from an eating disorder just isn't helpful for you. Um, you're still going to be cutting out certain foods from your diet, and eating sort of recovery is about eating normally and eating a little bit of everything, and not, you know, restricting certain things from your diet and saying that something's not allowed. So that's basically like raw, um, because basically, I mean, in the beginning of our ads, uh, the thing is we you did, start off you by start you start off by cutting food out of your diet, and that's basically what you do. Yeah, the form. beginning of an eating disorder, people a lot of the time you start off with a diet, and like I know a person was like, I started off with a special K diet. <laughs> was like, what? Um, wow. So you know, that's 
just basically like eating disorders start with diets, so you're not going to be able to recover from one by going back on another yeah, diet. That's... You have to go on the eating disorder diet, which is recovery diet. <laughs> yeah. Which is basically, like, you eat whatever you want, <laughs> when you want it, and how you and how much you want. Exactly. That's the eating disorder recovery diet. So, um, yeah. Um, there's also the paleo diet, which is basically eating like a caveman. Um, <laughs> it's true. Um, so you can eat like eggs, meat, um, healthy oils, fruits, veggies, but you can't eat anything that like cave man couldn't get so like anything made by farmers so you can't eat like potatoes or sugar or salt or especially so no made. dairy and no grains um so that means like no yogurt no cheese no, no milk. yogurt yeah, yeah <laughs> i wouldn't be able to go on that diet. uh no no bread uh nothing like that so like bread, bread. <laughs> <laughs> give me bread <laughs> stuff like that but um when you eat only protein then that's just like the other end of like the scale yeah. and it's just like any kind of diet that restricts something just isn't good and like we don't know enough about the paleo diet to say like what kind of physical effects it'll have on you True. but i can imagine that if you're cutting out like dairy you're not gonna have enough calcium um bones yeah exactly and salt and sugar are really important so you sure you can get like um sugars from certain veggies and fruits but it's not the same as like it's not the same kind of sugar um or salt either um like um, in the 80 10 10 there's also um what was i gonna say there's a nutrient. Oh yeah, people would say like there's a lot of iron or a lot of calcium or vitamin C in spinach, but I mean the amount of iron in spinach is not the same as like the amount of iron in like a steak, you know? Yeah. So no matter what the internet says, I know that Tumblr has like a bunch of these, these nutrition facts things, but you can't believe everything Tumblr says. Like yeah. Tumblr, Tumblr is always right. Uh, what's that word you use in school? Uh, reliable yeah. resource. <laughs> So it's worse than Wikipedia. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe that if you go on like some that type of diet, you won't have cravings. I'm sorry, but if I I like I said yogurt, I wouldn't be able to live without yogurt yogurt or something or ice cream or whatever. I love ice cream. It's my favorite thing ever. And if I go on a diet and they say to me like no dairy, I can't believe you can go like a whole month without thinking about it and being totally okay with it yeah and i mean we know about the binge thing like yeah the more you like the Restrict. more you eat uh, the less you eat sorry the more you'll be tempted tempted to binge and like the more you cut off things like for example chocolate and you crave it you crave it you crave it you crave it you don't forget about it you crave it again mm -hmm. and you and comes a time where you just say oh screw that i'll just eat the chocolate and you go on excessive amounts yeah uh, and I'm, i say chocolate but it can be whatever you want yeah squash <laughs> just kidding. yeah like squash for val because she's a weirdo <laughs> <laughs> vegetables lettuce <laughs> okay oh vegan um a yeah. lot of people are vegetarians and vegans which is perfectly fine like you do it for moral reasons mm -hmm. but i think that while you're recovering is the word ethical reasons yeah yeah um and like that's and you could do it for ethical reasons, like certain religions and stuff. But like, um, when you're recovering from an eating disorder, I think you have to put your health first and really take care of like what your body needs and what your mental health needs, and then take care of like your ethics and your morals and stuff. If that's what you're doing the diet for in the first place, because if you're doing it to restrict with certain foods and stuff, I don't think that's a good no. reason to be doing those, that diet. No. Like um, people say, I'm vegan and. Uh, like they just they disguise their eating disorder yeah. by like because you cut off a lot of food by being by being vegan yeah and um you really have to do it for the good reasons yeah and, and you have to be really careful about it like i know people are vegans and they're like really successful vegans and like it's perfectly fine for them but that's because like they don't have an eating disorder you know they take care of themselves and like they know how to they know what their body needs and stuff but if you've always been like a meat eater and then all of a sudden you get sick and you're like i'm never gonna eat meat again then your body's not gonna be used to it you know no. that's not the way it's been made so. and people who are on a vegan diet i'll say uh take their protein and their their nutrients from other things like if you have an eating disorder and you su you're super scared of nuts for example like it's a mm -hmm. big fear food fear food oh my gosh mm -hmm. and um you don't like eat them but you cut off meat it's sure your body will yeah. like miss things it, it will not be enough and yeah. you have you if you go on a vegan diet you have to be followed by a nutritionist yeah and you have to inform yourself you have like you have to just, really think about like why yeah. you're doing it and the like, good reasons yeah because like if i were to be like to my mom like i'm gonna be vegan she'd be like hell no because like i'm allergic to all nuts <laughs> hell of a no and chickpeas <laughs> and like all those things so like 
there'd be no reason for someone like me to do it. So it's the same thing for someone who's afraid of those yeah. things to go on those diets. So that's, basically, like, don't go on a diet. Yeah, when that's what we want to say. Just go on the yeah. eating disorder recovery diet, which we said is just eat whatever you want, whenever you want, <laughs> no matter how much you want. Whatever may it be. <laughs> um, so I guess that's that. If you guys have any really stupid diets that you know about and you want to share them, like, let yeah, us know. And like, laugh about it. <laughs> it's sort of entertaining. Yeah. Like, if you make it funny well not it's not a funny topic obviously because it's like really serious but like if you just like make it sort of like more light then it's, you realize how ridiculous it is to be going on a diet when you're recovering from an eating disorder yeah just think about it like really carefully just think about the two words so that you just don't go together <laughs> diet and recovery from like no 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 no, no, no. no, no. <laughs> so that's that if you have any questions let us know as yeah. usual um and if you guys really like her in these in my videos <laughs> Be sure to let me know. Yeah. Let her know. Or don't. I mean, <laughs> she'll be here. Anyways. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> take it or, or just take it. <laughs> I'm glad you listened to us. Uh, we, we hope it's helped. Yeah, we have a lot of fun making these videos. Yeah. And uh, we hope. Yeah, we hope it helped. It helped. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> and um, yeah, and yeah. don't be mad at us if you're following any of those diets. Cause it's just our opinion. Yeah. We're just informing people. Yeah. So that's that. Take it or leave it. Or just <laughs> take what you want from this video and let it go. Yeah. So take care. Yeah. Take care of yourself. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs>